Good morning, everybody. Definitely not sunny here. But the first thing I wanted to do was wish my sweet Emerson a happy birthday today. I am very, very happy that I got to talk to her already and wish her a happy birthday. Good morning, Becky. Um, I am still experiencing technical difficulties, so comments are going to be tough, but I promise I will answer any questions or whatever at the end. But I will be watching. Morning, Corrine. Um, I will be watching the best that I can. Morning, Nancy. I have some more goodies. I have some exciting stuff. Oh, Becky, thank you. I will be sure to tell her. Um, she was super excited when I talked to her that um, Uncle Joe and I called. And she's having a sleepover with her cousins. Hopefully, if the weather holds out there, because they're actually getting rain or snow already. And then they're going to do make your own pizzas. So she's super duper excited. Anyways, um, I have some fun stuff today and a little bit of revelation, um, something that I figured out when I was messing around with some paper this morning, and I'm kind of excited about it. There you are, Paul. I was wondering where my paper pumpkin police were. Um, we... All right, I need to, sorry guys, need to get a little organized. All right, so Paula once again has challenged me to um, help her fall in love with something. So that's my challenge for this weekend and I'm super excited about it. Uh, you know, apparently Penelope was rubbing on my cup. Um, I have the snowman cup this morning because I was sure, sure, sure wishing, um, for myself, I know Becky doesn't wish this, that it was snowing outside because Becky has a class today. Morning, Connie. So the snowman cup is here and... I want to show you, this is one of the celebration papers, and I saw it in the book, and I was like, nah, not super duper excited about it. I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely honest, but I saw it in person, and I'm going to share it with you. This and let me read you the colors first because the color, hey Kim, the color, oh Becky, you canceled? That is totally a bummer. There is a huge amount of colors in this paper. So it's Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Coastal Cabana, Flirty Flamingo, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Grapefruit Grove, Highland Heather, Lovely Lipstick, Melon Mambo, Pool Party, and Pretty Peacock. That is a whole ton of colors in there, you guys. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen colors. That's a lot. So I want to tell you the story about this paper because there's actually a story about it. When they created this paper, they actually took oil paintings. <clears throat> um, they took oil paintings and on canvas, you guys, and created this um, oil look more so than a watercolor look because these oils are more a uh, saturated color. So they created all of these colors or these images 
as oil paintings first, and then they took photographs of them, and this is where they came up with this paper. How gorgeous, and see, this is where you can see where the oil um, painting comes in because you use a, a, a palette knife, which we use for our embossing paste, you, and that's how you get that color. And okay, so there, I know this because my mom is an oil painter. So, used to be. She still is. She could, but she doesn't. So that's where these, this painting look comes from. And then the back side, that's where all of these are. And then, of course, that one is my favorite. And then you get on the back side of these is more like palette strokes, palette knife strokes using the colors or sweeps with the brush, heavy sweeps. So I'm hoping, yeah. This kind of reminds me of a painter's board because when you don't clean the oils off right away, it kind of gets all stuck together. So that's what kind that kind of reminds me of that. And then you've got more strokes here. And I'm sorry, you guys, I'm trying to watch. Oh, Becky, your mom's a painter too. So that's cool. But I have to say, and a customer said this to me yesterday because I was showing this to her yesterday. How great would this one be? And this is lovely lipstick. How great would this be for Valentine's? I'm loving this for Valentine's Day. So anyways, those are, that's one of the newer items that I have. And I have a couple and a couple of, the, one of these is courtesy of Kareen. So I'm grateful that she left it here for me. Because... Is that too shiny? Is that too shiny, you guys? If I leave that like that so you can see the other stuff? Because I have other things that I want to show you. A couple of new things and then a tidbit item. Apparently that's okay because nobody's answering. Okay, so I'm going to move on then. Hopefully that that's all right. So another one of the free items, because this pack of paper is um, free with a $50 purchase. Another free with a $50 purchase item is this and these. There is Bermuda... Another one of the $50 free items. So you spend $50 in product and you get this for free. And then another item, and I haven't even opened this yet. So we're going to pull the scissors out because we have to look at it. This is actually in the occasions book. Maybe if I, there we go. This is new ribbon in the occasions book. This is the Mint Macron Sheer Linen Ribbon. 
And this is a thin, we've had this style ribbon before in different colors. We used to have it in Whisper White, actually. I was using it for some of my craft fair stuff in Whisper White. This is a super easy tie ribbon. This is something that is um, easy mailable ribbon. And I want to say there's 10 yards on here. Yep, 10 yards. 10 yards of ribbon, and that's in the occasions book. And then, thank you, Corrine, for letting me use her under my umbrella bundle. So there's the punch. It's got two different umbrella tops and then the umbrella handle. And then the stamp set has outlines that you can use for the two different umbrellas and then the handle. You've got these cute little boots here, the rain boots or the wellies. My, my nieces call them wellies. And rain showers, a couple of sets of different flowers. And then, oh, let's, let's get it the shot, Jennifer. Sorry about that. A couple of different flowers. And then, hello, sunshine, it's your day. Rain or shine, you're always on my mind. Um, life's showers bring love's flowers. Showered with love. No matter the weather, we're friends forever. So this could totally be, this could totally be even a Valentine set. The showered with loves and life showers bring loves flowers. This could be a super cute little Valentine with the coordinating punch. And there is plenty of time to get this stuff, you guys, for Valentine's Day. So thank you again, Corrine, for letting me borrow that. And we're going to put that to the side. And today, oh, I don't need two sheets of this. So I'll we'll put one of these away. I'm gonna work with this paper, but I'm kind of excited because I came to a realization today that, and I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this paper because this place, Corinne, you know, you left yesterday and it was, it was all cleaned up and I've already made a mess this morning. This paper, it's got that Highland Heather in it and the Flirty Flamingo. And so those are the colors that I'm using today. I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo and the Highland Heather for the project that we're going to do today. And Emerson asked for a pop-up card. Eh, it's going to kind of be a pop-up card. And then... You guys remember the Perennial Essence vellum cardstock? That's still in the big book. This is the one that has um, the different colors in it, the old olive and the crushed curry. And then I want to say this was probably petal pink. But so... I know that my Emerson is like her auntie and she loves, she loves butterflies. So I took the Butterfly Beauty die cuts, the big, two big die cuts. And for the background, the backside of the butterflies, I took, thank you, Becky. I cut out in the petal pink vellum. And then I took the more intricate, which would be the front, and cut it out in the Highland Heather. So, and this at one point was all one piece. But of course, I had to cut it up. Because... And there is a reason. There's always a reason. The card that we're going to make today is going to be a sidestep card. 
And the base of the card I'm going to do in the Flirty Flamingo. I do not have a sample because I just didn't make one. I was busy cutting and making a mess. So for your sidestep card, you want to have a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half. Okay, so five and a half this way, eight and a half this way, and you're going to take this card and put it at, and I'm reading my directions as we're going along here. Sorry, you guys. We're going to put it at the two and three quarters, but I'm going to move my cutter. I'm going to change it so that I can see the measurements on the arm because I want to cut from and I'm going to go from the bottom to the top. The short side or the five and a half side is all the way up there and I've got my cutting piece uh, at seven and a half. So I'm going to take this cutter and I'm going to bring it all the way to three and a quarter. Just like that. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go to my, oh, sorry, to my lighter one, which is the scorer. And I'm going to score this at one inch. And then again at. We'll flip it back this way at two inches and we'll move it down. Oh, yeah, see what I did? Two inches, and then we're going to bring this at four and a quarter. See what happens in the live? You screw it up. been so darn long since I've made this side stepper I forget oh you know what one more score just to make things easy if I can get it right right there and I'll put the measurements out for you guys there we go all right so down up so here's our side step and apparently my scoring was a little bit off not too much there we go so that's the the fold that we're gonna do now it's impressive, right? My screw-up's not impressive, but this part is. All right, so then we've got this panel here. I'm not gonna worry about this here, but what I wanna do is I wanna create layers here. <coughs> Excuse me, I wanna create layers here using this paper. So after I cut out the front of these butterflies, this is the piece that I had left. So we're going to two and a half by four is the piece that we want. So we're going to cut two and a half by four. And then this piece of DSP, we're gonna cut at two and three eighths because I only want a little reveal. Two and three eighths by three and seven eighths. And yes, I know Corrine's gonna say, wow, you, um, you did that right off the top of your head. 
she she always gives me a hard time because I can create boxes really really quick. Oh. Oh. Where? Oh. Up oh, there it is. Looking for my tape runner. We're going to layer this onto this. Better than that. There we go. That under that. And then this is going to go on here. Just like that. And we're going to use dimensionals. Oh, I found the uh, stamp set that I mislaid, Paula. I found that stamp, that sentiment that I lost for Knox. I found it. It's on the back of the dimensionals. So I probably had it with me the whole entire time, Paula. At the Knox Library class, you guys, I couldn't find the inside sentiment to one of the cards that we did. And searched and searched for it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Yep, there it is. I knew it would turn up eventually. All right, so there's our step. <laughs> You're so funny, Corinne. Okay, so how are we going to decorate this? I'm thinking that this butterfly is actually going to be attached to this part. So when you sit the card, that this is going to be like that. And then we'll have another butterfly in the back. So it'll be like this when it's folded up. But you'll see the only attachment for this big butterfly is going to be here. What do you guys say? Thoughts, comments? And then I've got another idea for a couple of the other butterflies. Do, do, do. That's the one I'm looking for. We're going to use our window sheets. Why does that one feel so flimsy? No, nope, that's it. Okay. I'm going to cut one window sheet. There we go for now. So, all right, Becky says gorgeous. All right, so I am though, I did notice, this needs to be, sometimes when you cut this, the butterflies apart, you have to um, go back and retrim a little bit so that it doesn't look like you cut it up. And we're going to take a little bit of glue to this backside so that it stays in place when we go ahead and put it on our card. Just like that. And we hold it for a second and it'll stay put. All right, I was running out of time. I would have done this earlier. Sorry, guys. All right, so there's, we've got one, two, three, four, five butterflies. And I'm kind of rethinking this, you guys. Kind of. Because we could put that there. Put that there and then put the little butterfly so that it comes out this way with that window sheet. And then we could take this one here. Oh, 
That's what I'm thinking. I think we're gonna attach this big one to the back and I think we're gonna use this window sheet with this little one. Maybe this, this bigger little one and put it on like that. What do you think? Here's what it looks like. Let me get you a different color paper. So like that. Put that on the window sheet and have it hanging over. And that way then you can kind of see what is on the back side of this. And we could even cut one more window sheet and tuck it in here. Happy birthday, Jen. That's what I'm thinking we're gonna do. See, changing it. Because we can put the second little butterfly and tuck it inside of here so that you can't see where it's attached, but it'll still pop up. I think I'm liking that idea. All right. I hope you guys are with me. So I'm gonna take tear and tape and I'm gonna put the tear and tape on the actual window sheet itself. For our flying butterflies. And I had my, there it is. And then for these butterflies, we're just gonna use glue dots. And don't forget to kind of fold them up, you guys, so that you don't really see them. Through the all the little holes. This one, you don't have to worry about it. So as long as you put it in the right spot. And I'll adjust that one in a minute. So we're going to take the tear and tape using the poker part of the take your pick tool. We're going to take that and we're going to put this one here. Because when you open it, then it's going to kind of fly out a little bit, which I thought would be kind of, Emerson would think that would be really cute. If she were here. And then we'll put this big butterfly here. And then we'll have another butterfly come over here. So we'll take this off. Start thinking about what kind of an embellishments we're gonna use because you know how Emerson likes her sparkle. So we're gonna have to be sure to put some sort of, really wish I would have made this thinner. Some sort of bling on it. And all I'm doing here is I'm thinning up that window sheet a little bit because it doesn't need to be quite so big. There we go. And then this butterfly. Now see. This is why you don't do things on the fly, you guys. We're gonna flip this around. Because I tinker too much. Sequin, Becky says sequins. Morning, Andrea. So what does the birthday girl say? Jen's one of the birthday girls today. So Jen, what would you like to see for embellishments on this card? Here we go. I 
I think the birthday girl should have a say. All right, so here's where we're going. Look at that. All right, so we're going someplace. Paula says, oh, but we get to see. Yes, you do, Paula. You get to see how I go through things. That is true, which can be fun. I'm sure it's driving some people crazy, but sorry. All right, so we've got... We've got our happy, and I'm stamping the sentiment in gorgeous grape, you guys, on the flirty flamingo. And the birthday, and apparently I could have made that a little bit skinnier, but that's all right. So I've heard I've seen rhinestones, I've seen sequins. Anybody? Jen, what's your comments? I haven't seen you say anything, Jen. And we've got this butterfly here. And I think she's gonna be the one that's going to hold our happy birthday. Just like that. Hi, what do you guys think? Good, bad, does it, what else? Although we're going to have to scooch her in a little bit, aren't we? So that. Let's see. and do it like that so that she stays in the card so that we can mail it. Paula says tiny bows. Becky says it's beautiful. Thank you, Becky. All right, so what we're going to do here with this happy birthday, because you know this doesn't have enough popped up on it, we're going to, I don't want to lose that sentiment, we're going to take the happy and the birthday. Right. And we're going to sit the butterfly up on the happy and the birthday. So we've got the happy and the birthday like that and then we're going to take two glue dots because we want her to stay in place now remember when you're using vellum you can see if you look really really close there you can see the um the adhesive through it so you're going to want to fold it up or put a rhinestone or something over it so that you can't see it And then we'll put this butterfly on here. Tuck her in. There we go. All right. I am thinking I agree with the rhinestones. Let me, I'm trying to find them. Just the reg. Oh, should we do the champagne ones? No, I don't think so. Oh, they're there. I was thinking champagne ones, but I don't think I like those. And looks empty, right? Look at all those beauties in there. This one's gonna get a couple of rhinestones. 
two and a third one. And then I'm thinking that all of these butterflies need rhinestones. That's what I'm thinking. Anybody disagree? Oh my goodness, I'm loving that. So, oh, it's getting stuck. There we go. So there's how it pops. When you sit it up, that's what it's gonna look like. Just like that. And I'm thinking this big one needs a couple rhinestones as well. Anybody have any questions? I brought in that little flower punch because I was thinking, oh, maybe we'll put a couple flowers on there, but I don't think that we need any more flowers. I don't think we need any more than that. What do you guys think? All right, guys. Here is a super fancy, super sparkly birthday card. So the last tidbit that I wanted to give you guys is try it. It doesn't, it's, oh, Becky says good just like that. Okay. Try these different things, you guys. All right? Don't be afraid to cut up the pieces. And here's the other thing. I wanted to show you guys something because I'm going to put this stuff to the side. I don't know if you guys saw today's blog post or not. I'm going to give you a close-up. This is my perennial birthday folder. So for those of you that purchase $40 worth of product, not only do you get my tutorial bundle that is normal prize or normal bonus, you also get the, um, the tutorial for this as a bonus. And I'm going to do a quick show and tell on this. This is your birthday keeper. I didn't write in this one yet because I think I'm going to give this one to my mom. But you can write all of your birthdays on that. Okay? And it's all of the months. Now, that was a mistake on my part. And mom won't care. But it goes through every single month. May through June, and then on the back side or the inside, if you flip it over, it goes July, August, September, October, November, December. Big piece. All the way. So if you purchase, remember, if you purchase $40, you normally get the tutorial bundle. This, for this month, I will also give you the bundle to create this to um, the perennial birthday folder as well. So if you love tutorials or you can join my team, my team gets all of the bundles that or all of the tutorials that I create. Every tutorial that I make up is had my team has access to. So that's a pretty nice bonus for someone who loves tutorials as well. So not only do you get the 20% discount and access to stuff first, but you also get the full on directions for a bunch, bunch, a bunch of stuff. Because I think the tutorial bundle has 16 tutorials in it. So each month is a different bundle. So you get, that's a nice bonus for joining my team. I want to say thank you to everybody that joined me today. 
Um, if you have any questions about Celebration, then let me know. If you need a catalog, you need to contact me because I have catalogs in the house. Um, I showed you a lot of things, so anything that you have, anything that you saw today, if you have any questions, then let me know. I want to thank you again for joining me. Have a great day getting crafty, and I will see you again next week. Oh, and I think, yeah, we are. We're doing a paper uh, pumpkin whispers um, live on, oh, no, we can't do that on Thursday. Maybe we'll do it on Wednesday. I had to move it. I'm still having technical difficulties here, you guys, so I'll let you know. Thank you for joining me, guys. Have a great